Final update. My wife's surrogacy has destroyed two marriages. This will probably be my last update. Things have taken a turn for the worse, and at this point, I don't see any way to salvage the situation. It turns out my gut was right. Marie's obsession with Jeff and Ronnie's baby has been more than just a surrogate bonding situation. It's clear now that her constant involvement in Aaron's life hasn't just been hard on me, it's been breaking Jeff and Ronnie's relationship apart as well. To recap, Jeff and Ronnie used Jeff's sperm to conceive Aaron because Ronnie had genetic concerns within his family and they didn't want to pass on any potential health issues. So biologically Aaron is Jeff's son, and it's obvious. Jeff is light-skinned, and Ronnie has darker skin, so Aaron looks exactly like Jeff. I never thought too much about it until recently when Ronnie came to me, clearly distressed, and confided that Marie's behavior was driving a wedge between him and Jeff. Ronnie felt sidelined and pushed out by Marie's constant presence and overstepping. He tried talking to both Jeff and Marie, asking them to set boundaries and let him step into his role as Aaron's father, but neither of them took his concerns seriously. Marie brushed him off saying she was just helping, and Jeff dismissed Ronnie's feelings as jealousy or insecurity. They told him he was being irrational, that everything was fine, and that he should just be grateful Aaron was getting such great care, but things weren't fine. Jeff and Marie had fallen into this weird dynamic where they were co-parenting, leaving Ronnie feeling like an outsider in his own family. After a month of being ignored, dismissed, and pushed aside, Ronnie had had enough. He packed his bags and left. When Ronnie left, things went from bad to worse. Marie stepped fully into the role of Aaron's mother, as if Ronnie's absence was her green light to do what she'd been aching to do all along. She was there every day, feeding, bathing, and even co-sleeping with Aaron. The whole thing was surreal and completely inappropriate. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. My wife, who had agreed to be a surrogate to help her friends, had now taken on the role of a mother to a baby that wasn't hers and moved herself into their home. I tried to have a serious conversation with Marie, explaining that her behavior was tearing apart a family and that she was now a detriment to Jeff and Ronnie's marriage. I told her flat out that she needed to back off, give Jeff and Ronnie space, and let them figure out their own relationship, but Marie refused. She was deep in denial, convinced that she was the only one holding things together and that Jeff and Aaron needed her. She saw herself as some sort of savior, refusing to see the damage she was causing. At that point I had to make a choice. My marriage had turned into something I didn't recognize, and I was done trying to compete with a baby that wasn't even ours. I'd been patient, tried to support her through the pregnancy, the breastfeeding, and even through the weird emotional attachment she had to Aaron but I couldn't do it anymore. I told her I wanted a divorce. I didn't sign up for this life and like Ronnie, my needs and concerns were completely ignored. Marie was so consumed by her new role that there was no space left for our marriage. She barely reacted when I told her I was leaving. Her attention was on Aaron, and I realized then that our relationship had already been over for a long time. Now Marie has moved in with Jeff and the two of them are playing house like they're some happy little family. It's a bizarre setup, and I can't help but feel sorry for Jeff. I'd understand if Jeff were bisexual but, he's solidly gay. He's not romantically or sexually interested in Marie, and he's definitely not looking for a wife. But somehow, Marie has shoehorned herself into the role of wife and mother, and Jeff seems too overwhelmed or too guilty to push back against it. I know this isn't what he wanted and deep down I think he knows it too. As for Ronnie, he's trying to rebuild his life. He's heartbroken, not just about losing his relationship, but also about losing his place in Aaron's life. I've reached out to him, and we've shared our frustrations, our anger, and the absurdity of what's happened. Neither of us expected this outcome. We thought we were signing up for something different. Ronnie for fatherhood, and me for supporting my wife as she helped her best friend. Instead, we've both been sidelined, left watching as Marie and Jeff live out some twisted version of the life we were supposed to have. I don't know what the future holds for Marie and Jeff but I can't imagine this setup lasting. Marie's trying to mold Jeff into something he'll never be, a husband and a father in a way that only fits her fantasy. 
I'm done with it all. I'm moving on with my life and I hope someday Marie wakes up and realizes the damage she's done, not just to our marriage but to everyone around her. So, there's your final update. I never thought I'd be in this situation, watching my wife play house with her gay best friend and his son, but here we are. I hope they figure it out, but I'm done trying to be a part of it.